I really want to stop making videos on this topic, but Tarslan does not stop. Uh, what Tarslan did is the official, uh, the the mods basically sent an official complaint to YouTube to take down uh, my video because of a privacy rights uh, or a privacy infringement. Uh, so they sent in a complaint and said, "Hey, Spid, use our public Discord profile that is public." Uh, on the public page, uh, and he posted screenshots of, our, uh, of what we said in a public space where everybody can see it, by the way. Uh, but uh, because of that, my video got taken uh, down, uh, even though I censored the pictures. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just re-upload the whole video and just take all of those stuff out, all the screenshots out. You guys will not be able to silence me. This just proves to me that you guys know you're in the wrong. So instead of like uploading your side of the story or your truth to it, you guys try to take down my video as a massive company instead of just apologizing to me, which is really sad to see. And I will not let you guys silence me. I stand up for what I think is right and my integrity, and I would never like get silenced by a massive company just, just takes things they can just take down and say what they want about other creators, other people. I gave you guys an option. I, if you guys don't know, I'll be posting it right here. I messaged the admins about this. I said, you guys started all this. You get all, made all this drama, but I don't want to make a video on it. I'd rather just sit down and talk and make a healthy relationship. I'm going to be playing the game. It's going to be good for all communities. Just solve this. We can just sit down and have a chat. And you know what they said? They said, no, F you. They just literally said, we're not interested. Get out of here. And then I made that video later. So. You guys had all the chances. You even had a chance to apologize, but instead of apologizing, you decide to just go on and try to take down my video. It's not going to happen. And everybody that's been watching, thank you guys so much for all the support. Don't go around spreading any hate, but you can see the truth now. They're trying to take down my videos, which is crazy. And clearly this is an error from a YouTube side because I haven't broken any rules. Again, it's public uh, pictures or public profiles. And I even censored the pictures. There's like a thousand million videos out there of public Discord profiles, but I followed the guidelines of YouTube. I did what they asked me to do and it still got taken out. And I'm pretty sure after I sent a complaint already, after personal review, uh, the video will be, be back up. But in the meantime, uh, the video uh, will still be here just with all those parts removed. Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different than the usual video. Uh, after I've done YouTube for 14 years and I have never made a video regarding any kinds of drama. Of course, I talk about game related stuff, but not never like personal drama with anyone. Uh, I like to keep my game straightly game related. And unfortunately today, uh, I cannot do that anymore. So if you're here for gaming, uh, you should probably click out of this video. Uh, I'm going to be talking about, I've, and to give you guys context, I've worked with hundreds of gaming companies before. And this, of course, some companies that aren't as great as anyone, but usually I just keep it quiet and don't talk about it. But now it has gone way out of hand with a game, of course, called Tari's Land uh, and mainly their staff. So we're going to be jumping into the video so I can give you guys context on everything that has happened and give you guys a more understanding of what is basically going on. So let's just uh, jump into it. So as you guys know, I've been uh, talking about Tarzan Land for a long time. The second they released their first trailer, I made a video on it. There's probably a bunch of content on Tarzan on my channel. Everybody's been super excited for it. I made guild communities around it. Uh, you know, made a bunch of videos, thousands and thousands of thousands of views promotion for Tarzan Land. But when it first came out, uh, the trailer, everybody and all the content creators were basically roasting the game, calling it WoW clone, WoW copy, it's gonna be terrible. Well, I, I saw it and I was like, you know what? This game actually might be something I would be interested in and I definitely want to check out. So I made a video on it and then I got contacted by the Tardis Land staff. So they're like, they asked me on Twitter, they added me, they made a brand new. This was in February last year, so like one and a half years ago. And they messaged me like, hey, Spid, I've seen some of your videos about Tardis Land. We were very impressed and we were wondering if uh, you would like to work with us. So we see that you have a lot of appreciation for Tardis Land. And uh, I said, of course, man, I definitely, this game looks exciting. I want to check it out. I want to help you guys where I can. And then they say, this is Taurus Lorne, by the way, you guys probably know this person from the main Discord. Taurus Lorne is basically an official staff. So it says, yes, I am one of the staff of the Taurus Land dev team. So this is a dev staff that works close with the team. Uh, and I was like, yeah, sick, you know, uh, I definitely uh, want to work with you. And uh see like what it's all about so like yeah we we're willing to cooperate with you deeply with us in game help you support the game and more players and i said yeah i want to make more videos on Tardis land definitely 
into that, right? And then uh, we start talking, of course, on Twitter. Relationship is really good. Uh, I'm, they're very professional for now. And we talk about it. And then they ask me about the game. And I give them some suggestions and feedback. I'm like, what I like in the game, difficult raids, uh, what could be good for like as a mobile cross platform play friendly game. No auto combat, but after pathing could be good, which they have added to the game. If you can unlock reputation. But yeah, they say thanks for the advice. And then they start asking more and more stuff. They're like, hey, uh, could you give us. Uh, more feedback on certain things and then they say hey can you uh do polls in your community on your youtube ask if this is interesting because at this point they were seeing if they want to launch the game globally too right so i was helping them share it you know what i'll do it right i mean it's extra work but uh, i'm really passionate about the game i will help you guys so i started making polls for them uh online community polls youtube polls all that stuff to see basically what they need and then they have this questionnaire that they asked me to fill out and then they start asking me about more help and they're like hey can you help us translate this because they're from china right and probably they want to spend budget or anything to so ask me hey can you translate these things like does this sound good does this sound weird and of course i helped them out with that and i said yeah uh this is how you do it and basically a lot of stuff like this i gave them a lot of feedback a lot of suggestions and at the end it was they asked me hey spit uh uh I was wondering if there was one thing gift that you ever wanted from a game. So they asked me this, right? They asked me if there's anything I wanted the game. And I didn't want to ask for anything like crazy. I didn't want to ask for like legendary stuff or anything. I just asked for something fun and simple. I said, hey, for me personally, I wanted, I always wanted an NPC in a name called Spit. It would be funny. I could meme with it with my community and the guild. Like a random NPC in the game. And this is important. Okay, we'll have to remember this. So they asked me if I want anything in the game. And this is what I said. And then they ended up launching their Discord server. Uh, and uh, I thought our relationship was still good. We talked a little bit here and there, getting some feedback. But then I started getting messages from people and players, right? Actual players that Lorne is spreading rumors about me and saying weird stuff about me. So I was like, wait, I, that doesn't make sense. Like how? So I asked them for proof and stuff and then I find out that this person, Lorne, is basically going around saying that I've been asking them for stuff. So she says to this person, hey, Spid has been asked for a name amount named Spid. I wonder how many would pick it. So she's basically saying this, laughing about it to people on Discord. And you can see this whole message here. She says that she laughs about it with this person. And then this guy, you know, memes about it. And then she memes about it. And going back to the message you guys saw, right? They asked me. I never asked them about anything. They asked me, hey, you want anything? I said NPC. And then she starts saying, I want to mount it the game. I wonder how many would pick it. You know, that'd be funny. And I'm like, okay, this is weird. And then it gets even worse, okay? Because this is where it starts getting like, okay, what's going on? And then I get this message sent. And this is from members, by the way. She's talking about this, not to staff or anything. She's talking about this to other people. And this is way before any pay to win videos or any drama. At this point, I just made positive videos about Taurus Land. Only talk positive about Taurus Land. Only make content on Taurus Land. Ask your question in Discord, help everybody. Then I get this message. Like Spid. This is Lauren, by the way, saying this. Like Spid, always plan to be super hype in general chat. Sometimes help though. And he sell CBT key while streaming. And we all noted that. Now, let me stop you guys right here. The sell CBT key is, of course, a lie, right? What happened is there's a guy that doesn't like me for like seven, eight, ten years. I don't know how long he's been following me, like super obsessive hater. But he basically messaged uh, Lorne and says, Spit is selling CBT keys. Now, being Lorne, like being professional, what I would do as Lorne, I'd be like, hey, Spit, I heard this. Is this true? Or let me go watch your streams on my streams on my YouTube channel. Or as a dev and understanding of the game, they should know themselves that this game does not have CBT keys. You cannot sell CBT keys because the game doesn't use CBT keys. How you get access to the betas is through whitelist. Your email gets whitelisted or you get first come first serve. There are no CBT keys at all. So I'm like, what? How would you believe this? But there is no even like CBT keys. So I was like, we all noted that. And then they said, we didn't sign NDA with him. He's literally taking advantage of Taurus. Openly, he's the one making videos, doing commercial for free for us. So we have to thank him and be nice to him.
We was about to make paid partnership with him, but after that, we uh, come thrown in the throw can swallow. It's a kind of like Chinese reference to like backstabbing. But let's talk about this. I am taking advantage of Taurus. So me promoting your game to hundreds and thousands. Like you can probably watch like all my views combined is probably over millions views for Taurus Land at this point. Only mainly positive stuff. So I am the one taking advantage of Taurus, and then you are the one saying. He's making free commercials for us. So we're just going to pretend and be cool with him while trash talking him behind his back. Right. Uh, and then she has gone around saying this to the whole team, the whole Tarzan staff and the whole team knows about this. Okay. And uh, I will tell you guys in a second how I know that. But then I confront this person, Lorne. I said, hey, Lorne, uh, you sent this message to people like what's going on why are you talking bad about me why being super extremely professional this is very childish behavior as a proper staff member okay and then she starts beginning defensive she says speed i hope you understand it was me lacking the budget to have officially paid partnership with you before and i'm applying for the next possible chance you didn't even have twitch info last time now i don't care about the paid partnership i am good i've gotten i get several paid partnerships a month I don't care about Tarzan. The whole reason I want a good relationship with Tarzan is because I was actually building a community, a guild to actually play the game. I was excited about it. So I want to have a good partnership, be good, healthy for us, a lot of good feedback. I can make some cool events uh, for stream. I don't care about the paid partnership. I care about all the other stuff that's being said, all the rumors, right? So I said, I have no issue with your budget and partnership. My issue is that I've been a big advocate for the game. I've been working hard on promoting Tarzan because I love the concept. I got my audience engaged with it. I shared a lot of information with your team from the start when you contacted me on Twitter. While she's focused on the paid partnership part, I didn't really care about that. And then it keeps going. She says, uh, I said, but you didn't answer my other concerns. I don't care about the paid partner. I answered the other things. Why is the staff leaking private my private conversations with other players and other private conversations that's not even real? Like it's basically false information because I had to go back on Twitter to read. Like, did I ask for a mount? Did I actually do that? And then I found out, no, they asked me. So it was, like, it was him asking what kind of rewards players asked me. I said, it could be a mount named Afri. I hope you hope you end the conversation with others if you do want to listen so he's basically saying if you want to keep talking to me you cannot listen to these people that are sending you these screenshots this is not good you cannot do that so if you want to talk to me end the conversation with it don't listen to them and i kept saying i was asked from you on twitter if i want anything i told you it would be cool to have an npc named spit not a mount this information was leaked to blah 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 from a staff member the staff member being uh, lorne that is not professional and then uh, and then I, I messaged the thorn in the throne thing where they be making fun of me making content for them for free. He says, he and my guild, he and his guild members and others said that you're selling access during streaming, right? Again, back to the people that don't like me. Uh, and then, then we have this one. And then I said, basically what I told you guys, when did I sell access? How did I sell access? Why did you talk to me first? Like a professional. Instead of starting rumors and gossip and then disrespecting me, is this professional? And then she says, I didn't talk to you personally because I didn't believe it. It was during CBT. I have no time to argue. Okay. And I says, okay, so you have, uh, yeah, you think it's professional to say to someone he's doing free commercial for us and we need to be nice to him and laugh at it. You use fake rumors for someone and decide that you will not have pressure because of this, when all this is to help Tarzan and promote your game. Now she's saying, I did not believe this. I did not continue with this. And this is where I catch her in another lie because this person, Jaya, right here, she's a completely different dev, uh, dev and admin team for Taurus Land. So they're two completely different people. And around the same time, this was before all this started happening because you can see it's earlier in the day. And she just sends me this message. I didn't understand this message. Like, why are you sending me this message? Like, because she's saying, by the way, for better cooperation in the future, I would like to clarify points in advance. Before any explicit co cooperation, we do not want to be involved in personal actions. Two, there are some rumors about selling test qualification before, which behavior we do not want to see. And we hope that our cooperating personnel will not be involved in such matters. So here she's talking about like selling beta keys thing, right? And I don't understand anything. She's like, I'm just like, why are you sending this? Like, because at this point, I don't know about what Lauren has been saying to them, right? So Lauren here is saying, I don't believe. 
I don't I don't believe this. I didn't say anything, but she has gone already around to the whole Star Sun staff team and talked about me selling keys and they're like laughing about it. And then I get this message from Jaya. And now this message makes sense to me. Now it makes sense because she's been starting rumors. She's spreading fake information. And that's why I'm getting this message from Jaya, right? And then Lorne, uh, again, full defensive. Uh, and then she says, wait, where is it? Yeah, this one. And then she says, please be fair. And then she posts herself the message she sent me after Spit. I can show you guys. Please be fair with me. That chat, he reported me saying you're selling assets. Mad at the moment uh, that you were doing things behind my back. So she was mad. I mean, she's, she, she's, she's mad. She can spread rumors and fake stuff all she wants because she's mad, guys. She not, then you don't have to be professional at all. And then she calls me. She's like, hey, can we just call and talk about it? And for 40 minutes, the call lasts for 40 minutes. All she does is being defensive. She says it's not her fault, doesn't apologize, just says that uh, she got fooled by this member. She got fooled. Uh, and I was like, hey, I just want to, I don't care. I just want an apology and I want to talk to a supervisor or somebody uh, else than you. I want to talk to someone else. And she just goes to me. She doesn't tell me anything. I don't get to talk to anyone. I ask Jaya about the same thing. I message Jaya. I ask her about this. Hey, Jaya, can you talk about this? Can we, like, what's going on? I ask her, and she's like, I'll look into it. I never hear anything back. Completely ghosted. No response. Nothing ever. I started trying to asking other Tencent people, other, uh, like, what's going on. I just want, like, a closure on this. Like, what's happening? Nothing. I get nothing. So I was like... All right, nothing I can do, I guess. And I kept quiet about this because uh, I actually liked the game. I want to play it. I didn't want to like, ruin uh, all the stuff, but uh, things got worse. So you remember that competition I talked about? This was the competition, the first beta. Lauren asked me, hey, can you participate in this? Get everybody engaged. We're going to get some cool rewards again. Get these titles. I like the titles are cool. Getting the first kills of all raids in the beta. We did. We got all of the first kills. Uh, hopefully we get the titles, most likely not. And then the second reward was an official interview with the devs. Now, I don't care about the official interview. It's more of the principle of it. If you're going to announce something and promote the same thing and say something and give a reward, where is the interview? I'm still waiting. Hello? Anybody seeing the interview? I don't see no interview yet. I mean, I mean, they're good at lying. They already lied about the pay to win. They lied about this. And now they lied about this, right? And then Lone reaches out to me and she's like, uh, hey, Spit, uh, we want to uh, give you some keys. Uh, and I'm like, uh, we have a, a beta? Or not keys, sorry, whitelist, because you can't get keys. So uh, Lauren reached out to me, like, hey, you guys won the competition. Your 10 players in the guild will get whitelist. I was like, dope, that's cool. All right, I respect that. Awesome, right? This is after all the drama, all the stuff. I just pretend like whatever. And I, t I was like, okay, sure. Uh, we'll get 10 keys. We get a reward for the beta. Uh, it's cool with it. And then I find out we're getting 10 keys because we won the competition. Well, but she is giving 50 keys to other guilds for free. So I was like, okay, like, hello? Why are you saying and manipulating me saying we got these 10 keys because we won the competition when you're going around giving all the other guilds 50 keys, right? It's like a minor thing, but again, lying again to me, right? And then that beta is the beta that they released the pay to win stuff right and remember i have been talking really good about Taris land the whole time because i talked to the de devs like i showed you guys i was uh close to with them in a period and i kept asking them hey is the game going to be pay to win are you going to be able to sell gold they're like no no selling gold. Uh, you can't buy the gold that would be extremely pay to win and what ends up happening they're going back on the lie to me so more lies on lies on lies on lies. I've been promoting their game doing this. So I made the pay to win video. And after I made the pay to win video, I didn't post it yet. I asked them, Lauren and Jay, I was like, hey, I'm making this video. Can I get a statement? Can we talk about it? You know, I don't want to like ruin the reputation of Taurus Land. And then they say nothing. They ghost me. And I released the video. And after I released the video, after that, everything, bro, they become such haters. Everybody, all the Discord mods, all the Discord uh, Taurus Land admins, all the staff, they want nothing to do with me and my community or my guild because me making the Taurus land pay to win video which is real that's something they did was so bad to them that i i'm the evil guy how dare i make 
a video about the reality of the game. I made hundreds of videos about promoting the game, talking about how good the game is. I made one video of something that they lied about, they went back on, and that is really bad. So after that, everybody in Discord uh, and the staff and admins, everything started treating us really bad. They started muting us. If we discussed any bad about the game in the Discord, like, because I'm on the Discord to have a discussion. That's why I make my videos too. Have a discussion, fix things that are bad, like fix the pay to win fix the bad things so we talked about the bad things and stuff and then we start getting muted we start getting timed out we start getting some people start getting banned on the uh, on the main discord uh, and then it's just start escalating from there start escalating and escalating and then there's some really horrible stuff because the discord mods at this point they don't like me at all they hate me uh with a passion and i reached out because uh, there's a discord mod this guy called for example he's a discord mod for the spanish community and I found out some people from Spanish community messaged me, hey, Spit, there's some people in the Spanish community, including the mod, talk some really bad things, wild stuff, not like insult, but like really bad stuff about my family, about me, crazy insults about my community. And I say, and I message the mod, I was like, hey, mod, uh, I heard that you are doing these things. Can you please stop it and uh, actually moderate this chat? And he says to me, as a moderator of the Spanish chat, he says, this is in a language you don't speak, so you should be bothered by it. I know I'm a Spanish mod, but since it's in a language you cannot speak, it's fine. I can allow dark humor and stuff in my own language. This is a Taurus land mod saying this. Dark humor is okay, okay? As long as it's not in a language you don't speak. And I'm like, what? So, and it says, if you have any agree with me or respond, talk to Jordan later. And, and Lauren and Jay at this point, they don't, like they didn't respond to me anything so i was like you know what i'm not even gonna bother with this whatever but they didn't stop and now recently i got banned i got banned and now you got and my guilds have been getting banned too like some of my guild members got muted and banned from the community for saying hello right for talking about very minor stuff having some stuff in their bio everybody's been getting muted and banned right and i got banned and then this is the crazy part after i got banned these mods made an official post about banning me like it's some kind of trophy bro like it's crazy they're like yo we click the button we banned this guy and we're making an official announcement this is our trophy we're making it official we banned spit that's crazy like how unprofessional is that and then later this guy says that this was the staff's idea to do again back to the staff because the mods i don't really care about because they're just working for free we don't care about staff are being so unprofessional and i reached out to a guy in a, a different mod and I said, hey, you know, I'm tired of this back and forth between the communities. I just want to have a proper launch for the game. Let's let's sit down. Let's fix this. S stop with this all this drama and uh, solve this issue. So I want to sit down with the admins and just come with a clean sheet, right? And uh, the response he gets for me, he got a response from the internal team. Uh, and my, I think I know who the internal agent is all right we're not going to talk about it, but i think we can tell but he says while we appreciate your desire to support our game and make content for us this is today by the way right before i made this video you have repeatedly spoken ill of our game okay the repeatedly speaking ill of our game you know what that is that is me making the pay to win video because aside from that i have only talked good about the game right so again delusion and as well as acted rudely towards us. In general, like most people, potentially employers don't want to be treated this way. When people do that, that means blah, blah, blah. So they're saying that they don't want to be treated that way. They don't want me to talk bad about the game and uh, talk bad about the mods, but it's okay for them to spread rumors about me and my community. It's okay for them to talk bad about me and the community when I haven't done anything, right? Again, super hypocritical. So I want to end with this, the whole uh, video with the last thing. And honestly, I don't care for the staff and community. I mean, this is by far the most unprofessional thing I have ever experienced. Like it is crazy uh, how bad how bad this is. Uh, everything from the staff to the community, to the Discord and mods, to the Discord community is absolutely horrible. Uh, and the best thing to end this game, this video with is Taurus land is pay to win forbidden, right? And then they went back on it. They changed it, right? This it's actually for, not forbidden anymore. And then they have, and now recently they released a new ad on Facebook. So if you guys are lucky, you can find this. This is a gem, by the way. It's an Easter egg. Explore a non-pay to win world. 
Taurus Line Global. Again, another a lie. The game still has paid to win features. It is less, but it still has paid to win features. They are so delusional. It is insane to me. But that is, in short, all the stuff. When it comes to the games themselves, most likely, the way things are going, I will end up getting banned in the game. Uh, but I will try to make as much content for the community as possible. I'm going to avoid all these Discord communities. You guys are welcome to join my Discord community where we talk about Taurus and stuff. Uh, it would be great having you guys. I'd love to you guys' opinion. Try to keep it a little chill in the comments. Uh, you know, I don't want any hate towards them. I just want to show this and show my thing. Like, I don't like, especially staff. Like, the problem is when people uh, start rumors and hate on you, like people, I don't really care. It's whatever. But when the professional staff of games start doing this, it hurts your image. They're trying to ruin your image, which is not, I don't even think that's legal, right? So that is it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.